Hey guys, thank you for tuning in. Look, I was just... While I was eating dinner, I was literally watching uh, the last upload from our brothers and sisters over at uh, Sacred Word Publishing. Reading the Testament of Moses, I'm just eating dinner. And it really caught my attention because they were leading, reading the last chapter, which is which I've never heard before, and um, apparently it's reconstructed from fragments. And um, one of the fragments it was reconstructed from just a whole I don't know I'm just eating dinner and he, and um, our brother just mentioned one text, the Slavonic Life of Moses. Now. Um, and so I'm just like, whoa, okay, because what they were reading in that last chapter actually seems to give um, insight into the mystery of Jude 1 9, the historical mystery of Jude 1 9. Now, I'll just show you uh, one of the books that I wish to purchase one day, which is very rare. My cart is empty in Amazon, unfortunately. Um, it's very rare and it's very expensive and these books don't tell you what's in them. So there's a Slavonic pseudepigrapha book. I, I, it seems to be in English. So you have to take $150 on just a chance. You don't really know what's in there. But anyway, um, so you know, from their sources in the video, I have to really rewind the video and look into it more. Just a quick Google search and I googled the Slavonic life of Moses to see if we could find it on the internet. No and behold, it comes up on one of our um, our source websites in the back corners of the internet. And so basically I, I did a cut and paste job and did some formatting and now we have it uh, preserved in a PDF. Guys, these are the times that we're living in. There are these back end websites, mostly run by college professors who like like this one and there's another one that I found they just study ancient scriptures and not necessarily Christians there's a lot of false text they don't know what they have but there's a lot of false text and there's a lot of stuff that are true gems and we and I've been combing through them and trying to uh, salvage what is salvageable and put it into the archive so this is one of them so now we have a very rare text which is very rarely um, according to them, this is the only translation in English available um, on this back corner website. So uh, now we have the PDF, guys. I have not read the text. It's quite long, but uh, pretty cool. Pretty cool. The last section of the PDF uh, gets into the death of Moses. Um, here we are. Uh, yeah, so really cool, guys. All right, links in the description box below. Thank you to our brothers and sisters at Sacred Word Publishing. I need to rewind that video and check out the sources for those fragments and try to track them down. Uh, this website, just this page alone, this is an awesome website. Unfortunately, there is no search option. You just have to know what you have to look for. It's very hard and everything is random. But um, this page actually has um, like three or four Slavonic texts. So one of these days, I'm assuming next month, I'm gonna take a long shot. Um, this is the cheapest I could find this book, Slavonic Pseudepigrapha. It's $150. Anywhere else, it's like 200 bucks. So next month, I'm probably just gonna take a long shot and buy it. And I pray it's even in English. It seems to be in English. <laughs> so, um, but it's worth it, man. I don't, it, it's worth it. If we can find just one inspired hidden gem of prophecy that scripture that gives us insight into the days we're living in. Yeah, honors this stuff. It's only money. It doesn't matter. Um, it's worth it. So, um, I, you know, we can't see an index to this text, but one day I am going to buy this book. Um, so, I don't know. Alright guys, a hidden gem. We have it preserved. So, um, enjoy. Thanks for tuning in. And thank you to our brothers and sisters at Sacred Word Publishing. I'll post a video in the description box below. Thanks, guys. God bless.